am so excited. I got, this is my Thrive Life Emergency Meal Bucket. Brand new product. I haven't even opened it yet. I haven't seen it. So I wanted to record a video and share with you my first reactions and all the amazing stuff. So let's open it up. Got my scissors here. Cut this. I think that's the only thing I ordered. I might have ordered one other thing with this, but I, I don't remember. My order. So there might be something else in here that I ordered at the same time, but I thought, I think I just ordered the, the bucket. We'll see, because here's my invoice right here on top. Oh, that's right. I also ordered the coconut bites with this order, so that'll be in here too. Totally separate. Coconut bites, if you haven't tried them yet, oh my goodness, get some. You will love them. I have to hide them from my husband. So, let's see if I can find, oh yeah, here's the coconut bites. So this, just side note, they now come in cans. They used to only have these in snacky bags, but now they come in cans. So, love them. They're so, so good to snack on. All right, so now to our brand new product, the emergency meal kit in a bucket. Oh, it's not very heavy. Nice. That's kind of one of the perks of freeze-dried food is it's not real heavy. So look at that. And this, that's my weak arm that I threw out. I ripped tendons on. So here's our bucket. Yay! It's here. Um, should I open it? I think I will. I'm going to open it just for this video. Normally, I would just put this down in our food storage, but for you, I will open it. Um, and then, you know, then we know what's in it, but I'll, and I'll, I'll definitely order more. So basic meal emergency kit, 36 servings, and this bucket has a 20 year shelf life. So wedding gift, Christmas gift, this would be awesome. Or, um, you know, just someone starting out. If you know someone who wants to build their food storage, this would be an amazing gift. This is a good starter that, or if you live in a small apartment and you have no room for things, this, you can stack these buckets on top of each other. This would be an amazing start and uh, basic food storage. So what it has in it, two blueberry oatmeal meal packets, two breakfast skillets, two creamy beef with rotini pasta, two creamy mashed potato bowls, two Southwest style chicken, and two cheesy chicken. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, so 12 meals. Okay, so each meal serves three people, looks like. Nice, okay. So if you're, depending on how many people, so it's got this little tab here. I'm gonna pull on, maybe. Maybe, can I do it? Am I strong enough? Yes, I am. These things, if you can keep it going and not stuff, it's a lot easier. Okay, so that's our little tab that seals it. Oh, so there's a line in the lid of the bucket. I don't know how well you can see that. There's a little line, so the bucket lid is gonna open this. So the whole thing, it looks like I could probably take the whole thing off if I wanted, but just for ease of getting in and out of it, it just pops up here. It says lift. There's two arrows in the front and two arrows in the side. Ha! Ah! Lift there. Look at that. Okay, that's kind of cool. I like that. So especially if it's an emergency meal and you want to get in and out of it, I really like that. This, okay, side note, I'm just thinking this is kind of nice even for the bucket style for like dog food or whatever. So multiple purpose afterwards after you use the meals you've got this I, I do like that lid that is really cool because you don't have to take the whole thing up and then how easy does it go back on let's see it's got the la oh oh it's on I was waiting for it to snap oh okay it's on interesting okay so let's check out our meals so they are in here there's our blueberry oatmeal that's actually a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be I, ha I think I have most of these meals. I've been meaning to do a Thrive Thursday recipe video and record them for you, but I just, it's been a crazy summer and I've been doing a lot of canning. So 
haven't gotten to it yet but this is the blueberry oatmeal whole grain oats with blueberries and milk that's one thing I love when we fry it like it's just add water so open pouch remove oxygen absorber pour contents in a meat sized container or this does have a zipper so you can do it in this container too stir add two cups of boiling water stir well let stand for five minutes and then heat nice blueberry oatmeal love it love it the cool thing about stuff like this too I love that it gives me ideas of things I can make on my own using my other Thrive ingredients. So like if you had the, the oatmeal and the milk, you the instant milk and the oatmeal, you can make your own oatmeal like this using peaches or strawberries or, you know, make your own ingredients and, and you can, you know, package them up in, in mason jars or mylar bags or whatever. So I love some of these meals because it gives me some good ideas of, oh, hey, I have these Thrive and, and the blueberry is great, but maybe I want bananas or we really love peaches and cream oatmeal or whatever. And you could do, or coconut. Anyhow, um, I love that because it, it gives you good ideas of, you're like, oh, hey, I could use other Thrive ingredients, make my own flavor and personalize some of the combination. Okay, so there's the second blueberry oatmeal one. This one is creamy beef with rotini pasta. I think we made this one. Um, again, just add water. So it's kind of like a creamy beef with rotini pasta. And it's got mushrooms. So this is kind of like stroganoff. I, I wonder why they didn't just call it stroganoff. Because <laughs> it's got mushrooms and cream sauce and beef and rotini pasta. Um, at my house, we would just call this stroganoff. <laughs> so that's kind of what it is. Um, yeah, cool. Okay, so we got two of those. I'm just getting these words so I've written. There's the second one. The next one, Southwestern style chicken. Okay, so this has rice, white chicken meat, vegetables, and black beans in a Southwestern style sauce. Okay, I'm not a big Mexican eater, but my, like, I don't care for a lot of Mexican and spicy foods because, you know redhead I'm white I'm as white as it gets I just have a little spice tolerance um, but my husband and son love it and they love like anything spicy and stuff so they this would probably be more one of their favorites than mine um, but that's that's nothing to do with thrive that's just me so I'm just wondering in the sauce so the flavorings I wanted I'm skipping ahead to the seasoning so I can get an idea for the flavoring because I'm just curious um, Sour cream, onion, tomato, bouillon, vegetarian bouillon, uh, garlic, spice, oh, chili powder, uh, green chili peppers. That's kind of the, the seasonings and spices. So you're going to have, I mean, typical Mexican food spices, your green chilies, your onions, your garlic, tomatoes, stuff like that. There you go. So we got two of those. All right, now the next one, cheesy chicken. Okay, so this was with white rice, white chicken meat, green beans, mushrooms, and cheese sauce. Ooh, that sounds good. I like that it has the green beans in it, so you get kind of some veggies with your thing. I need to make some of these up. I'll do. I'll make some of these up, and we'll do a video with it. Um, again, just add water. So this, if you haven't tried, Thrive Life has their sauces. So they have a tomato sauce, a voulet, which is like a chicken gravy, and the, I can never pronounce it, it's like espaginole. <laughs> it's basically beef gravy. And so chicken gravy, beef gravy, they have a tomato sauce, and they have a cheese sauce. And they have a bechamel, which is kind of like your generic white sauce. And uh, is that all of them? Chicken, beef, chicken, beef, tomato, cheese, and white sauce. I think that's it. Um, anyhow, if you haven't tried their sauces, I love them. Try, try them out. The cheese sauce is the, is probably my least favorite of all of them. It's it kind of reminds me of like the Kraft cheese powder. <laughs> But it's okay in certain things if you want a little bit of a cheesy flavor. But um, 
the the bechamel, the vule, the the espaginole, whatever, the chicken and beef gravy and the white sauce. I use those all the time and they're so great. You can use them as like a thickening agent if you're making a stew or a soup or a casserole. You can add some of that sauce powder and it adds a lot of flavor. It's, it's just really good. Um, I really like having those in my food storage. It just makes it easy. Easy to add and thicken stuff up. Um, or you can use them like as the gravy or sauce that they're meant to be. So anyhow, pretty cool. Cheesy chicken. Let's see, I'll put them on this side because I'm running out of room over here. There's the other cheesy chicken. And we have a breakfast skillet. So this has eggs, sausage, and vegetables. What vegetables? Let me see if I can see. It just says vegetables. So let's see. Scrambled egg, um, sausage crumbles. The sausage crumbles, another one of my favorites. You can, like we have them in scrambled eggs a lot, or we'll do sausage gravy, or it's great in like spaghetti sauce, especially for lasagna. The sausage crumbles, they're one of my favorites. Um, potato, tomato, spinach, green onion, and black, oh, salt and black pepper. Okay, so the vegetables are gonna be your green onion, potato, tomato, and spinach. That's pretty good in an omelet. And I like the potato because it makes it a little more hearty, a little more filling. You get those carbs in. Um, yeah. I'm excited to try that one. That one sounds really good. So, breakfast skillet. There's the second one. And our last one, creamy mashed potato bowl. So, this one is white chicken meat vegetables with mashed potatoes and gravy. I wonder if they're going to be in two separate pouches. I guess it's all just kind of mixed in uh yeah because it just says you just okay so it's just all together okay so um mashed potatoes cheddar cheese uh carrots corn onion beef bouillon that's like this the onion powder garlic powder celery powder carrot powder you know all that stuff um oregano thyme potato flakes chicken and peas so it's gonna have your your peas corn carrots onions and then your chicken and mashed potatoes and then the sauce so that sounds pretty good huh but yeah it's it's like it's the gravy and the mashed potatoes it's all mixed in together looks like so it'll be like a really creamy creamy good one and that is the last one yep and that's it so let's see, that gives us two breakfasts. That means we have our breakfast skillet and our blueberry oatmeal. So you have the two breakfasts and then 10, well, two breakfasts and then four meals, but you have two of each. So technically four breakfasts and then um, eight other meals. So very cool. And depending on, you know, if you're feeding yourself or like I said, each, each of these has three servings per container. So that's kind of cool because depending on your family size, you can, or, you know, if you have, if there's just for a couple, basically you've got, um, it, you know, sometimes guys eat a lot and, and they like big servings, hearty servings. So one of these might just feed a married couple or something. And um, if that's the case, then you've got 12 meals. So three meals a day, if you're doing three meals a day, then you've got four days, four days supply. Or if you're only doing, you know, two meals a day, then you've got a six day supply. So, which just, it just kind of depends on how much, how much you eat, how much, you know, all that how many people you're feeding everything that way okay let's see if i can pack it in as nicely as they had it packed in oh there i got it you have to kind of crisscross these as you're layering them because the the bags you know like all the food settles in the bottom and so when you put them in the box you do it this side yeah see how the angle so you do this way and then the next one so i tried to kind of do that so it would fit better and i it's pro that's probably how it was packaged. I just didn't pay real close attention to that. But there you have it. So if you're wanting to start off your food storage 
or just have kind of a good grab and go, this would be definitely something you could, you could grab and go like in an um, emergency situation, a, a fire, flood, hurricane, something like that. How easy is that to just grab one of these? The cool thing I like about this too is, like I said, you have this bucket for, for other uses. Um, I didn't snap that on very good today. Does it snap? Oh, maybe I'm just not pushing it hard enough because that did snap that corner. Anyhow, but you have the bucket. It's got, it's nice handle and it's fairly light because freeze dried food is pretty light. But you can use this bucket in an emergency situation. It carries your food, but then you can use it to sit on like a stool. You can, I mean, you could use it as a toilet if you needed to, or you could use it to carry other things after you've eaten food and stuff like that, that you can put your, your clothes, your whatever. If you wanted something to not get wet, put it in here. Or if you need to carry water, put it in here. And so it's, it's so useful to have a bucket like this for a grab and go scenario. Um, they're, they're amazing. And this would be a really good, like, like you have your 72 hour kits, this would be a 72 hour kit. Basically, this would be like your food, food part of a 72 hour kit for three people. Um, so, and it's actually more, this would be more than 72 hours. What's another 96 hours? <laughs> this would be a 96 hour kit for three people. So, um, an emergency. And then you have one of these, this has all your food have a have another like a backpack with a, you know a backpack and a gallon of water and you have a change of clothes or whatever and that's pretty minimal for three people for four days or you know I, I, three servings would serve a mom and a dad and, and little kids so you could probably do a family of four um if they were little you know because they're not going to eat much so anyhow this is awesome i i hope you get one and check it out uh, you can order these right now. I'm so excited. Brand new product. Uh, I put it off to Thrive Convention today and super excited about that. And they'll be launching another new product. So I'll share that with you once because I can buy it at convention. It's not available yet. I don't even know what it is yet. So I will share that. Um, and it, it's always fun to see the new stuff they come out with. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching and have a great day.